Crowds turn up to see presidential candidate Hillary Clinton in Ashland. We'll have the latest coming up. The body of an Owen County man has been found hours after it was swept downstream. Coming up, we're speaking with his devastated family who is remembering the man who they say was a wonderful father and grandfather. Showers and thunderstorms are popping up across the region. Our best chance for any severe storms, very minimal chance, but the best chance down toward the southeast, and that's also where we have the best chance for some flooding. I'm going to go over that forecast coming up. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. More storms are expected in some parts of the bluegrass today, but not all areas will see that. Right. The biggest chance in the southeast, which is also dealing with some flooding issues today. We have called a first alert weather day to keep you informed about the latest system. And WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is tracking the threat on our first alert defender network. You know, my friend yesterday I had a buddy ask me, are we going to get rain here in Lexington talking about today? And I was like, it's right on the verge. It is right on the line. And you will see the trajectory of this push it right into either Lexington or just southbound. That is your best opportunity uh, and, and as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon. So the farther north you are, very small chances. You get off into the bluegrass, still around a 40% like we talked about this morning. But south of that, go into Richmond, go down into Rockcastle, you're getting 50 and 60%. Go into London, 60, 70. And then you get off into Harlan, it's going to be right around 100% chance of rain. So the farther south and east that you go, better likelihood of seeing some of these storms. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to show you when I expect those to move on in. Coming up. All right, thank you. And weather related news here at the top of our news today. We're learning more about the circumstances behind a northern Kentucky man being swept away by flood waters. A creek near Highway 368 in Owenton jumped its banks from all of the rain, and family members say Paul Schweitzer's body was a couple of miles away from his home when it was located. WKYT's Mark Barber continues our top story team coverage with reaction from the victim's wife. Paul Schweitzer's wife says he was a mechanic and he was working on a customer's truck in the yard when the water started rising. She says he climbed on top of the truck and started calling for help. She tells me that she grabbed a life vest and tried to save him. I was going to try to get a rope to get to him, but there was no time. And before I even thought, I just jumped in and I was trying to make it to him. The water wouldn't let me. That was the last time Helena Schweitzer saw her husband. For hours, dozens of people looked for Paul Schweitzer, searching the banks of the swollen creek off Terracita Road. Then, around 3 this morning, 10 hours after he was swept away, Schweitzer's brother found the 48-year-old. His body had been carried about three miles downstream by the floodwaters. His heartbroken family still can't believe he's gone. I'm still watching for him. It's not sunk in that he's not going to be there when we wake up. I'm not going to get no more high fives. It hasn't quite sunk in. The family says they're working to create a donation page online because they don't have the money to pay for Schweitzer's funeral expenses, and they also have a lot of damage to their home and a lot of destroyed clothing as well. As soon as that donation page is online, we'll post a link to it on our website, WKYT.com. In Owen County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, we thank you. And Schweitzer's devastated wife tells us that she met her husband 37 years ago. Another round of intense storms is also threatening parts of the deep south today. The system brought hail and flash flooding to Louisiana over the weekend, and conditions turned deadly in East Texas. Several people were swept away by rising flood waters there. Remember, you can track severe weather in your area by downloading the WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. Well, Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is spending part of today in the bluegrass, two weeks ahead of the state's primary. She is making a stop in Ashland in just a few minutes, expected to arrive there, in fact, any minute now. WKYT Sean Moody is live there with more on what Mrs. Clinton wants to convey to voters during that visit. Sean? Hey there, Bill. This will be Hillary Clinton's first event of this trip through Kentucky, West Virginia, and Ohio. It's at Alma's Italian here on 15th Street. It's actually right across the street here. And here is the crowd out here on the sidewalk that's come out to see Secretary Clinton. It's drawn quite a crowd. According to the news release from the Clinton 
This event will be a conversation about economic barriers and jobs. The Clinton campaign is calling this the, quote, breaking down barriers tour. According to that news release from the campaign, Clinton will meet with voters promising to fight to raise their incomes and expand opportunities. I'm hoping that we can hear her talk about what she wants to do, not only for the region, but for the country, and how she wants to make the 50% of women's voices in this country heard. Again, uh, Secretary Clinton is expected uh, at any point uh, this afternoon there in that stop at uh, Ashland. Chelsea Clinton helped open her campaign office, as you'll recall, here in Lexington, their daughter, uh, last week. Clinton's challenger will also be making a stop in the Commonwealth this week. Senator Bernie Sanders will be holding a rally tomorrow in Louisville. The event at the Waterfront Park is free and open to the public. Well, the road to the White House goes through Indiana tomorrow, and the Hoosier state will have a big say on whether Donald Trump can lock up the Republican presidential nomination. Greg Boswell has the latest from the campaign trail. Ted Cruz isn't wasting any time hitting the campaign trail early Monday morning at an Indiana cafe. We're going all the way. Cruz needs a big win in the state to stop Trump from locking up the Republican presidential nomination before the convention. The entire country is looking to Indiana and really depending on Indiana to pull us back from this cliff that we're staring over. But the latest poll shows Trump with a 15-point lead over Cruz, and John Kasich has fallen significantly behind the businessman after pulling out of the state. So I'm competing against these two guys, even though they have no path to victory. It's a ridiculous, I don't even know what we're doing. Trump has turned many of his attacks toward Hillary Clinton, and she's firing right back as the two prepare for a general election battle. We cannot let Barack Obama's legacy fall into Donald Trump's hands. Clinton needs 18% of the remaining delegates to lock up the nomination, but Bernie Sanders says it will be a contested convention. It is virtually impossible for Secretary Clinton to reach the majority of convention delegates by June 14th. Sanders is calling on the Democratic superdelegates to change their support and vote for him at this summer's convention. Greg Boswell, CBS News, the White House. Now, Sanders has closed the gap on Clinton in Indiana. She has a four-point lead in the NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, which is within the margin of error. And we should point out former President Bill Clinton will be campaigning for his wife Hillary in Kentucky tomorrow. Three events, including a stop in Lexington. Two more teenagers are now charged in the murder of a central Kentucky teenager. 18 year olds Zachary Lay and Megan Sims were arrested this weekend in connection to the death of 17 year old Tristan Cole. He was found shot to death last month. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is in Harrodsburg with more on the charges they are now facing with this crime tracker. Report. One of those teens, Megan Sims, has since bonded out of jail since those arrests, while the other, Zachary Lay, remains in custody and is scheduled to be here in court in about an hour. Sims and Lay, both 18 years old, were arrested over the weekend on charges of tampering with physical evidence in connection with the shooting death of Mercer County High School junior Tristan Cole. The teen's body was found back in April off of Deep Creek Road, which is west of Harrodsburg. Police say he had been shot and left there at the scene. Deputies quickly arrested a juvenile and charged him with the murder. Then this weekend, Sims and Lay were put in jail tied to the case. Investigators say the pair helped the juvenile sell the gun used to shoot Cole. They say Lay also helped hide that gun, which is believed to be the murder weapon. Cole's family members say they are relieved progress is being made in the investigation, but say they know the months ahead will be difficult dealing with the loss. We're also going through all of the court proceedings. We're glad that some of the story is coming out. Um, we're glad that we're, the people that's involved is actually getting arrested. Um, we don't much know a lot because they won't tell us a lot, of course. Um, but we, we just want just, justice for Tristan, is what we want. You know, we want the people guilty. Punished. Now, the clerk's office here says they've not yet received the bond paperwork for Sims, so at this point, they're not sure when her first court appearance will be. In Mercer County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT.
Hillary, thank you. And while Mercer County school officials are unable to say whether or not the teens arrested are students at the high school, Cole's family members say they believe all of the teenagers were acquaintances and went to the same school. Lexington EMS crews say the number of times they are responding to drug overdose calls has more than doubled in the last few years. With that increase also comes an increase in the cost of naloxone, the drug that can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. Naloxone was $4 a dose back in 2010. Last year it was $38 a dose. But mainly this is the largest increase and you know we just can't keep up with it. We still have to administer it. We're still going to give it. We don't have a choice. We're not going to stop. Tonight on WKYT News at 6, you can go along with an EMS crew to see the effects of the drug epidemic firsthand. And you'll hear from a pharmacist about why the cost to save overdose victims is so high. Funeral arrangements have now been announced for former UK basketball player Ed Davender. He died last week, two days after having a massive heart attack. Davender played for Kentucky for four years in the mid and late 1980s. He's 11th on Kentucky's all time scoring list. Davender's visitation is Thursday morning at 10 o'clock at First Baptist Church, Bracktown. His funeral will follow at 1 o'clock also at the church. You can now visit the boyhood home of boxing legend and Kentucky native Muhammad Ali. His childhood home in Louisville has been turned into a museum and is now open to the public. The home sat abandoned for years until two businessmen bought and restored it. They say the museum honors Ali's accomplishments. Ali lived in that home from the late 1940s until the early 1960s. So a piece of Kentucky history. Well, the first daughter is following in the Ivy League tradition of her father, but not this fall as expected. But I'm more on a popular trend that has her skipping college for a while. Coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, now that the drama has settled on live with Kelly and Michael, the two now have something to celebrate. We'll explain next on WKYT. How important is this file? This is sometimes the only shot that a person's going to have at, at having a tomorrow. EMTs use the drug Narcan to save the lives of victims of an overdose. Without this, it there wouldn't have been a chance to, to get them through it. And the number of people needing Narcan in Lexington is at an all-time high, but the cost is out of control. So how much are you, the taxpayer, paying to save the lives of overdose victims? WKYT investigates tonight at 6 on WKYT. Hey guys, it's Deanne Stevens here. When it comes to HVAC, the Comfort Man is the only name I trust. And right now, they're running a special where you can get a clean and check for $69. Don't wait until it's too late. Call the Comfort Man at 859-COMFORT today. If you have questions about overtime violations or the wage and hour laws in our state, visit ForThePeople.com to learn more. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. Get ready for Kroger's Kentucky Derby Festival, April 28th through Derby Eve and be a part of America's greatest community festival with nine full days of local and national act concerts, the infamous Chow Wagon, various festival events, and more. Admission is free with a 2016 Pegasus pen, $5 at your neighborhood Kroger, and $7 at events. Hurry into Kroger for center cut pork chops for just $1.99 a pound and red tomatoes on the vine for only 99 cents a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Here's a fun way to control your luck. It's a game called Kino. You can start with one buck. You pick your numbers, your odds, and your wager. And the winnings, well, they could be major. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. A few minutes later, you can play it again. Now play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Every house has electricity. Shouldn't every house have an electrician? For decades, we've been known as the craft capital of Kentucky, the city where art is alive. But we're not just the place where art's alive. There's a lot more nestled in at the foot of the Appalachians. Trails, scenic lookouts, lakes, waterfalls, you name it. Come to think of it, that's just a different kind of art from a different kind of artist. And it's definitely alive. Berea, Kentucky, where art is alive. Go to visitberea.com for details and directions. Hey guys, it's Deanne Stevens here. When it comes to HVAC, the Comfort Man is the only name I trust. And right now, they're running a special where you can get a clean and check for $69. Don't wait until it's too late. Call the Comfort Man at 859-COMFORT today. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. 
President Obama and the First Lady's eldest daughter is embracing a popular trend among high school students. The White House says Malia Obama will attend Harvard University in the fall of 2017 after taking a gap year. Harvard encourages admitted students to defer for one year to travel, pursue a special project or activity, maybe work or spend some time in other meaningful ways. President Obama says his family plans to stay in Washington for two years after his presidency ends so that their youngest daughter, Sasha, can finish high school there. The curtain has fallen for the final time for elephants performing at the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. The circus has permanently retired the animals after becoming caught between animal rights activists' concerns and Americans' shifting views. The last 11 female elephants touring with the circus took their final bow last night in Rhode Island, ending a 145-year tradition. The elephants will now live at Ringling's 200-acre center for elephant conservation down in Florida. Well, the task of dividing up Prince's estate will move to a Minnesota courtroom today. Prince's sister, Tyka Nelson, filed papers saying Prince had no known will and that his assets should be divided among his surviving siblings. Last week, a judge appointed a special administrator to manage his estate until a ruling is made. The music icon was found dead in an elevator at his Paisley Park home April 21st. Investigators are now looking into whether Prince died from an overdose. The team of Kelly Rippa and Michael Strahan is going out on top. Live with Kelly and Michael won the Daytime Emmy Award for Best Entertainment Talk Show host this weekend. The win caps a tumultuous two weeks that began with Strahan's announcement his departure from uh, that he is departing live to work full time on Good Morning America. Rippa then took several days off to gather her thoughts before returning to the show last week. Strahan is set to exit the show later this month. Coming up, a Georgetown police officer has been released from the hospital after he was hurt while taking down a wanted suspect. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Hey you, this is your fun at Kings Island and it's waiting for you to seize it and do a 360 down it on the new Tropical Plunge water slides at Soak City. But the first step is to get here. Save $25 on tickets at Kroger. Do you want to change? Do you want to change? Do you want to change? This guy changed. Used to keep you waiting all day long, but now he shows up on time and you'll even get an alert when he's on his way. If Time Warner Cable can change, then so can you, Mary. So can you, Sal. So can you. If Time Warner Cable can change, then so can I. I. So can I. So can I. So can I. Changing for good. Time Warner Cable. It's a new tradition and an inspirational story. Nominated by friends and family, 142 cancer survivors will walk the racetrack at Churchill Downs on Kentucky Oaks Day. At Kroger, we're proud to sponsor these courageous survivors as they showcase the strides being made toward a cure. Join us Friday for the Kentucky Oaks Survivors Parade before the 142nd running of the Kentucky Oaks. I'm a policeman uh, with the Versailles Police Department. Uh, trying to help someone across the street. A uh, car hit me, and then I had three surgeries. They said I had to be 100% in order to return to work, but I wasn't, so I had to retire. I couldn't ask for, for you know, better help than I did get from Becker Law. A friend of mine called me a couple of months ago, and um, she needed an attorney, and I said, well, call Becker Law Offices. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. Hey, Mom and Dad, get your fun at Kings Island because it's also your kids' fun. The getting up early to go, thrills for all sizes, we can't wait kind of fun. Save $25 on tickets at Kroger.
showers and thunderstorms out and about, and we are looking at that first alert severe weather day. Not so much because of severe storms, it's mainly because of the flooding. Let me get right into it and show you what we're looking at. Now, all this tracking up toward the northeast. Danville, you're going to be next in line. Very heavy downpour coming out of northern portions of Adair County, heading northbound. Liberty and northern portions of Casey County, you're going to be next with this one in the next 20 minutes, and then it slaps all over toward, say, Lincoln County. So this is pretty heavy rain. Uh, Somerset, just south of you guys, toward the Burnside community. Burnside Marina really getting that heavy rain at this moment, and some lightning, and some more storms sparking up. So here's the breakdown for you. The farther north you are, the better likelihood of staying dry. This line right through here, I mean, this literally may follow where exactly these showers and thunderstorms are moving because there's a front to the north. So anywhere from 10% to 30% around Frankfurt and northbound, 40 to 60% from Lexington to Richmond. Richmond, you will uh, get a lot of rain out of this as it moves on through. And then you go southbound. It's going to take a little time, but it's going to move through you farther south. Southeast you are, even though it doesn't look like it right now, it will roll right through your region. You're talking 60 to 100 percent chance of rain as we track off into the afternoon and into the evening hours. Temperatures will be there in the lower 70s. Remember, not everybody does see rain today, but it's a pretty decent shot at it. Uh, and it looks like that system has gotten a little bit. That front didn't push all the way through, and it kind of backed off just about 30 miles. 30 miles makes a huge difference when you're talking about a front. So the front's a little is extended a little farther north than I saw from this morning. So uh, it does look like we're going to add a few more chances of rain as we travel off into the afternoon. I still believe, though, and it's it, very confident in this, that if we do see an isolated severe storm, it's going to be very uh, far south and southeast, and also the flood threat should be down in that location too. So that's today. That moves out this evening, this evening and night. Should be good to go. And it looks like as we travel off through the next few days, you're talking upper 50s, lower 60s, a big shot at some much cooler air, and also still a few chances at some showers here and there. But Friday and Saturday, those two days look really good. We'll have more news, weather, and sports right after the break. CBS Tonight. How much do we love comedy? So much. <laughs> First, the final season of Mike and Molly continues with back-to-back -back new episodes. And the moment not to be missed. Do you know how long we've been wanting this? Mike, this is fate. Then it's a special Monday Big Bang. Bye, bye, bye. And we're doubling our odds with new odd couple twice a week. Are you sure you're not doing this just to impress me? If you're impressed, that's on you, sister. New Mike and Molly, The Big Bang Theory, and New Odd Couple. CBS Tonight. Exciting, creative, edgy, fun. A career in cosmetology is always in style, and Paradigm Company School of Hair Design can help you be a part of it. Success begins with proper training. Make it happen at Paradigm Company. Call today and enroll in Paradigm Company. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You could play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win, and a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. B-Boys was started by a couple of neighbors as a hobby. Today, it's a thriving business that sells honey from hives surrounded by fields of clover in Shelby and Casey counties. When you buy Kentucky Proud, you're getting homemade freshness and quality. Look for B-Boys Honey and other Kentucky Proud products available every day at Kroger. Make it a sweet week of savings. Delicious B-Boys Honey is just $7.99. And bring home a Kearns Derby pie for $9.99. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security Disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo at Mi Pequeña Hacienda. Two for one margaritas all day and a live band at both locations. Come celebrate with us.
Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. If you're looking for a career that is rewarding and always in style, start your training for a career in cosmetology at Barrett & Company. Day and night classes are enrolling, so begin your journey into a fashion-forward career in cosmetology and call today and enroll in Barrett & Company. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Those of us who follow sports love a comeback story, and there's none better than former Wildcat Dwayne Casey. Basically driven from college basketball by the infamous Emory scandal, Casey worked his way up the NBA's coaching ladder till last night when he had a chance to lead Toronto to its first playoff series win in 15 years. Casey's first job when he graduated from UK Barb, you remember? He was a salesman right upstairs here at KYT. One of the things he had to sell the Toronto front office on was the fact that there's another cat that can really, really play, and that's Patrick Patterson. Catching and shooting three of 11 big points, and Toronto takes a 16-point lead into the fourth quarter. But the Raptors had to hang on, and they had to get a huge night from DeMar DeRozan. He needed a franchise playoff record, 32 shots to score 30 points. Toronto with its first playoff series win since 2001. They now move on to take on the Miami Heat. And from horses to horsepower yesterday at Talladega, yikes. Wrecks everywhere at Talladega. Race teams suffering millions of dollars in damage to cars. Both Danica Patrick and Matt Kenseth were okay after a hard wreck there at the end of the race. Patrick said it was one of the scariest accidents of her career. That's her in like the gray car right there. Uh, Chris Buescher's car flipped three times early in the chase. Kenseth was turned upside down in that accident. In Kenseth's crash, Patrick hit that uh, wall hard. Fortunately, that's an energy-absorbing wall that seemed to buckle on impact. She appeared shaken after the hit. There were 21 and 12 car accidents in the final 28 laps of the race. And as Brad Keselowski crossed the finish line as the survivor, I mean the winner, another wreck in the back of the pack punctuated an incredible day. NASCAR's box score showed 35 of the 40 cars were involved in some sort of accident. Only 21 finished on the lead lap and 12 cars were ruled out of the race. Yikes. Tonight on the Big Blue Insider with Dick Gabriel, UK Athletics Director Mitch Barnhart talking about everything that's been going on in UK Athletics. Courier Journal and columnist Tim Sullivan and New York Times racing writer Joe Drape. He's one of the best in the business. Great show. You'll hear it tonight at 6 on 630 WLAP. Guys, a little bit later, the latest from Churchill Downs, a derby draw now just a couple of days away. But for now, that's a look at sports on this Monday. All right. Exciting time. Thank you, Dave. And keep it here. There's a lot more coming up in the next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. The first U.S. cruise ship has made landfall in Cuba. I'm Sean Moody in Ashland. Coming up on WKYT News at 1230, people from both sides have come out hoping to catch a glimpse of Hillary Clinton as she campaigns here. Tomorrow night's Mega Millions jackpot is $128 million, and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $348 million.